Angelica. It's Angelica, right? Yes. Yeah. Did I not just give him another opportunity to take his hat off? Yeah. And did he refuse to do it again? All right. Did you just give her another opportunity? Did he refuse to do it again? Opportunity to go All right. Something on her head? Acts chapter 3. Come on. Did you ain't something Acts like, huh? chapter 3, verse 19. Come on. Repent ye therefore and be converted. We need strong men that can lead our woman. Yes, the woman is the weaker yes, vessel. Sir. And I'm right here. Right. So we I'm should. Right here, but I'm not so, going behind so, so, so our, our men shouldn't have the same standards as women. That's you understand right. that, right? Our standards should be greater. Right. Because we stronger. Right. right? right. And we the head. Yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, yes, so why, why would you point at her and say, "Well, did you not because give her a chance her. to put a head cover on her head? Did because you not? Why you would you say that? Why, why would you do that? You been talking you're, you're greater than that, Stefan. Stefan, listen to me. What are you talking about? You're greater than that, bro. Right. You're greater than I that, man. I am. That's why I right. keep my don't, hand on Don't let me time. ever see you compare yourself to a woman again. Right. Right. God created you to be a man, bro. He created you to be a man. All right. I need you to believe that. I need you to believe that, bro. I already believe yes, I that. do. I what you got. That Repent ye therefore and be converted. That your sin, that your sin. The only way for your sins to be blotted out is to repent. Come on. May be blotted out. Read it again from the top. Repent ye therefore. So God says, if you repent, come on. And be converted. And converted. It's a convert. Converted. Can you st can you convert and stay the same at the same at the same time? Can you? If someone sold you a convertible and the top ain't rolled back, would you be satisfied with that? No, you wouldn't. Right? If someone sold you a convertible, right, and the top don't go back, would you would you be satisfied with that? All right. So God's not satisfied with you if you don't change, brother. It's that simple. It's that plain. Is that hard to understand? Read it again from the top. Come on. Repent. Ye therefore, and be converted. God says, be converted, right? That means to stay the same on the chain. That means to continue to get tattoos or stop getting tattoos. That means to keep your head on and take your head off. That means to keep that means to keep the idol on your neck. Hold on, that means to keep the idol on your neck or take the idol off your neck. Take the idol off. This is easy. It's easy. Come on. That your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Now, hey, Deuteronomy chapter 22, you this for you, sis. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Hey, do Don't forget the point. We are here to teach our people, all right, God's commandments. We want all our people to come back to the true black Messiah. That's, That's what we right. Want. That's what we want. And, and, and following his example that he set for Who? us on this earth. Who? The black Messiah. The black Messiah. Right. The black Messiah. That's right. The black Messiah. That's right. Do you understand? Jesus. Do you understand? He said Jesus. Jesus and the black Messiah are the same person. That's right. Read what you got. Calls real Deuteronomy Calls chapter real 22 real verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God says that the woman shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man, right? What is God's real name? All right. He's talking about the name. Right. But he didn't read the scripture that say God exhorts his word above his name. You see, that's why you can't follow natural men. Right. All right. Don't doesn't make sense. Natural. Doesn't make sense. Doing right now was All right. natural. All right. I would not be talking to you. You just heard what he said, right? Camera. What about the name? What about the name? What, what about the name? name? What about the name? name? Can you tell me his tell name? Me name? I want to know his name. If I know his name, you I'm still gonna have an idol on my neck. What difference is it gonna make? This is not an idol. It's a piece of jewelry. It's a it's an idol, bro. It's an idol. I'm trying to Psalm chapter 138, verse 2. What is a natural man? All right. Because I'm a natural man. Thank All right. Psalm chapter 138, verse 2. I'm a man of God, too. I am. You're going to be natural or you're going to be spiritual. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 138, verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name. Praise what? Praise thy name. But I want to know the name. Praise thy name. I got to know God's name. Come on. Praise thy name! Is it is it Yahweh? Is it is it Jehovah? Is it is it Yahweh Shah? What's his name? What is it is it Yehoshua? Which one is it? Is it Yeshua? What's his name? I wanna know his name. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Come on. And praise thy name. God say praise thy name, right? Come on. For thy love and kindness and for thy truth. Come on. For thou hast magnified thy word. God said that he magnified his Bible and his commandments and you taking your head off, all right, when the scriptures are coming out. God said he magnified that above what? Above all thy name. Is that so is that hard to understand? I so, ask, so I ask, does God reverence his name above his commandments or does he put his commandments above his name? Which one? 
Am I going to get the kingdom of heaven if I know God's name, but I'm breaking all his commandments? Teach! Whoa. All right? Don't do that. Or am I going to get the kingdom of heaven? Now, or am I going to get the kingdom of heaven you if I know his name, woman, but I'm breaking all God's woman. commandments? Which one, am I, if I, which one am I going to get the kingdom of heaven? Amen. Right? I got to know. I got to be keeping the commandments, right? Right. According to the scripture, God said that his commandments is above his name. That's easy to understand. Right. You want, you want him. That's easy to understand. You want him. All right. I understand. You want him. We answering all your questions, bro. No, you ain't answering. All right. You I, want we him. answering all your no, questions, bro. No, you just bro. talking out of the goddamn book. You want <laughs> You him. hate this book, don't you? Are you going all right. No, First Thessalonians chapter four verse eight. Oil, man. How? All right. No, no. We no, gonna no, keep no, reading no, out no. this book until you leave, bro. Right. We gonna keep reading out this book until you leave, but you hate this book. No. Yes. Yeah, you do. No. All right. But I'm gonna show you. You right. All right. Yeah, you don't. I haven't left. You don't hate the book. I'm gonna show you who you hate. Read what you got. First Thessalonians. Chapter 4, verse 8. He therefore that despises, despises not man. You don't hate us. You're right. You don't hate us. Who you hate? Come on. But God. Who you hate? But God. Who wrote this book? God. But God. Who gave these commandments? But God. Who told him to take his head off? But God. Who told him to take his idol off his neck? But God. Who did that? God did that, brother. You don't hate us. We so didn't write this book. God said, yes, God. yes, 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 right, we're not right this book, he told me God wrote this book, brother, all right, so you really, he really ain't got, sister, Angelica, you realize he really ain't got no problem with us, right, who he got a problem with, God, right, he got a problem with God, right, now God is probably the last person that you want to have a problem with, bro, he probably the last person, you in danger of the judgment, bro, thank you, everybody get a brother a hand, no, 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 you see, how, you see how bad we want you to repent, bro? Give me, give me Luke chapter 15. I think it's verse 23 of one. All right? Do you, do you see, Angelica, do you see how bad we want the brother to repent and to get right? We ain't out here to destroy him. We ain't out here to destroy you, bro. Is that what I want? 15? No, 14 and 8. 14, I want just but one sinner. Just rejoicing in heaven. 15 and 10. Read that for me, please. Come on. Luke chapter 15, verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels. That means there's joy in the heavens. And all the angels rejoice. When what? Come on. In the presence of the angels of God over one sinner. One sinner just like Stefan. Come on. That repentance. Just like Angelica that does what? That repentance. It's joy for you since right. you repent. Do you understand that? That means it's a spiritual realm and they're rejoicing in the heavens because Angelica repented to them. Right. It's joy in the heavens. When Stefan repents, if he don't get put to death first, you, you understand? Repent. It will be it will be joy in the heavens no. for you. you said, it will be joy repent. in the heavens for you if you repent before you Where get put I to death. From? It will Where be joy in the heavens for you. From? You're sick from the idol on your neck, from having a head on your head while we preaching the scripture, Teach. now having fringes on your clothes. Teach. You understand? So, not, not marrying so the first woman that you that you had sex with. Hold on, hold on, not hold on, not Exodus chapter sixteen. Not marrying the first woman that you had sex with. All right. That, yes, that's you were supposed to do that. That's a law. Right. Angelica, did you know that? All right. Now, but natural men don't keep that law. Right. You probably dealt with plenty of natural men in this world, but you ain't so never dealt with a spiritual man. Ask me how I know. You because he's not here with you. He will be standing right beside you. Right. You know. But when you deal with when you deal with natural men, when you when you deal, hold on. When you deal with natural men, did you You know what happens? They leave. Right. They leave. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Read what you got. Exodus chapter 22, yeah, yeah. verse 16. Come on. And if Sorry, a man bro. entice a maid that is not betrothed. This is, this is scripture right here. Come on. on. Read the one. And read lie one. with her. So you read the one. Read the one where they say that. If then I'm you have sex with her. Come no. on. Read he one. shall surely read endow one. her if to be it, if his wife. Right. So if you have sex with a sister, the Bible is saying, look, you got to marry her. Right. You got to marry That's what the scriptures say. Wouldn't that change our communities today if there was a law in place? That if a man had sex with a woman, he had to marry her or got put to death. You do Don't you think that would change our community today? Do do that? Don't you think that would change our community? It would make that man oh, think twice the about him having sex with you, right? Yep. He would think twice about it. He would think twice about it, right? Right. He would think twice about it. Then we just talked to you about repentance. I repented, brother. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. 
Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.